to use Olaplex? Or have you tried it and haven't really been that impressed with it? Stay tuned for my top tips and tricks on how to get the most out of your Olaplex treatments. Hey guys, it's Cam and welcome back to my channel. In case you haven't heard of Olaplex before, it's basically a magical treat. No, <laughs> it's not magical. Magical. <laughs> okay. In case you haven't heard of Olaplex, it is a bond restructurer that basically relinks your hair either as you color it or after you've already done damage. And when you color, prevents the bonds from coming apart and after relinks them. Today I wanted to share some things that I do when I do my standalone Olaplex treatments because I've been noticing a lot of improvement in my hair from using them. So here is my Olaplex that I have. I don't know if you can see that. That's a good view of it. And this is the really big one, the 17 point, the 17 and 3 quarter ounce, 17.75. I don't know which is a better way to say that. Uh, I had the 3.3 ounce kit before, but I was scared to use it to do my standalone treatments, like I would mix it in my hair color, but I felt really bad using it as a standalone treatment because I didn't want to use it up really quickly. And you need like a half ounce for the standalone treatment where you just use an eighth of an ounce in your hair color. So I found myself not really reaching for it so much, so, so my hair wasn't improving in quality that much. But I did make it last like a year and a half. So I just want to show you the sizes of the bottles that come in the bigger kit. This is the number one, and this is the number two, where the 3.3 ounce one uh, is the same size that the number three comes in normally, so they're a lot smaller. And the difference between them is that the number one and the number two are the professional kit. The number one does get mixed in with your hair formula, and then number two is applied after everything's done processing and washed out, just to kind of cover up any pieces that were missed. And the number three is usually the take home one and that's the one that you can find in retail locations like Sephora. But there's a lot of ways that you can get your hands on the one and two. And the number three is actually very similar to the Olaplex number two. I think it's just a different concentration of the active ingredient. So I believe the, the number two has 15% and the number three has 12%, I think. So there's not that big of a difference. You're almost essentially getting the number two treatment to use weekly or monthly as suggested, but I just kind of skip the number three and just stick with the number two since essentially it's just a slightly more concentrated version of the number three. And I've gone online and seen some people talking about trying out Olaplex and they didn't notice it doing anything for their hair. And I have to admit, the first couple of times that I used it, I really didn't notice much of a difference myself. It took some experimenting and trying out different ways of using it for me to finally notice it actually absorbing into my hair, penetrating, and making a difference. And I think that part of it is the fact that the instructions tell you to just put it on dry hair before you shower, and that seems to be what everyone does with their number one and two, or even just when they use the number three. So after a lot of experimenting and playing with it, I think I finally cracked the Olaplex code, at least for myself, on how to make it work for my hair and actually see the benefits because when you mix it with your hair color, obviously the color opens up your hair cuticle and so really allows the Olaplex to get in there and work its magic. But that's not really the case when you do a standalone treatment. And I want to share with you the tips and tricks that I found that have at least worked for me with getting the best results when I do Olaplex treatments. So the first tip is to clarify your hair before you apply either your number one and two or the number three. And why this is so important is because if you're like me and you feel like your hair gets damaged or dry or really frizzy, then you're probably applying a lot of product in your hair, a lot of leave-ins, oiling it multiple times a day, waiting as long as you can to shampoo your hair next time, so letting it build up that grease and oil. And by the time you're ready to shower and put your Olaplex in, your hair is going to be really, really dirty, really coated, and it's going to be very, very hard for the Olaplex to penetrate and actually work its magic in your hair. 
So the very first thing that I do when I'm about to do my Olaplex standalone treatments is I will hop in the shower and using a sulfate-free, preferably silicone-free shampoo so that way you don't have anything coating your hair, I will give my hair a very thorough shampoo. And then I will get out of the shower, put my turby twist on, and let it dry for a little bit. So after I comb it out, you can either leave it kind of damp, I prefer to completely dry it, that way there's no extra dilution of the product going on, and then I will start applying my Olaplex by sectioning my hair and making sure that every single layer of the hair is saturated from the roots all the way to the ends. And I just clip it up and put a shower cap over it so that way it stays moist because I found that when it when you let it dry out a little bit, it doesn't work as well. I don't know, I almost, I almost feel like letting it dry out deactivates it. So I keep it moist by putting on a shower cap and leaving that on. And I will leave my Olaplex treatment on my hair for, I do the number one and number two, and I will leave the number one on for probably an hour to two hours and do the same thing with the number two. And with the number two, of course, you apply it directly over the number one once you've let the number one process enough. Or if you just have number three at your disposal, then you know you would just put the number three on and leave that on for an hour to two hours. And then I hop back in the shower once I've let that sit on my hair, and I just do a very, very light shampoo just on my roots and let it run down the lengths of my hair. The second tip that I wanna share with you is to make sure that you condition after you do your Olaplex treatment. While it's great at improving the health of your hair and makes your hair feel so much softer, it's still not a conditioner. So if you don't apply conditioner after, you may still feel a little bit of roughness in your hair after when you do dry it. This would be a great time if your hair is very, very damaged to go in after doing the treatment with a protein treatment. You can do like Joico K-Pack, you can use one of the Affigy ones. I actually recently did my standalone Olaplex treatment and followed it up with the Affigy two-step and then moisturized after and it really made my hair feel so amazing. I was like, this is not my hair. I have silk growing out of my head, not hair anymore. But if you don't feel like you need the extra protein in your hair, then just try to use a moisturizing conditioner if you have finer hair or mask if your hair is on the thicker side, which I will definitely be doing a video on my favorite products and my hair care routine. And I will link that up here so that you can see it and maybe pick up some ideas from it. And speaking of amazing things to use in conjunction with your Olaplex treatments, my third tip is to do a Caraplex treatment, which I will also link up here so that way you can see how it's done, what it is, and if you have really frizzy, unmanageable, just rebellious hair, like mine tends to get in the summer, then this is really, really good to do, and it's probably the ultimate in repairing and smoothing your hair. So if you feel like your hair is just an uncontrollable mess, then definitely check out my video on Caraplex treatments. My fourth tip for getting better results out of your Olaplex treatment is to not dilute the number one, if that's what you're using, quite as much as the instructions say to. I believe that the instructions say to use a half an ounce with three ounces of water, and I just found that that was too much liquid, that I would cover my hair in it and then have a lot left over, and my hair was just dripping, and it was almost a waste. And I kind of cut that down to where if I'm using half an ounce of the Olaplex, I'll only use about an ounce and a half to two ounces of water with it. And I found that that's definitely still enough to saturate my hair. I have pretty long hair, as you can see, like this is the full length of it. And I just don't wanna waste the number one. The same goes for if you only have the 3.3 ounce kit or if you have shorter hair. I've also done it with my hair length with only a quarter ounce of it. And then I'll add probably like an ounce and a half to just an ounce of water and that's even been enough to saturate my hair. So I definitely don't think that you need to dilute it so much, and the higher the concentration of it that you use, the better. So this is just another thing I found that works for me. If you feel like your hair is really, really long, really thick, then obviously use the dilution that they recommend in the instructions. 
And then my fifth and final tip, and you can do this with the number two or the number three, whichever one you have at your disposal, is to apply a little bit, or a lot of it, if you're so inclined, as a leave-in. And I found that this really does help smooth the hair out, kind of tame the ends a little bit if they look a little too fried, and just keep it looking healthy and shiny. So if you're going to put a little bit in your hair as a leave-in, definitely put your heat protectant on afterwards to make sure that your hair is still protected if you're going to heat style it. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and maybe picked up a couple of ideas on how to get better results the next time that you try doing a standalone Olaplex treatment or a lot of these will even work with the number three if you don't have the professional kit. Again, I'm going to film the next time that I do a Caraplex treatment so you can all see what that entails and I will link that up here. And if you liked this video, give me a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can see when I come out with new videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Sure. Other people you've seen have it in the background a lot, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> of my. What the heck was that? Gosh darn it. <laughs> that was so dumb. Uh. Where was I? Um, people have used it and yeah, yeah. didn't really notice any difference. And yeah. the first time. I'm gonna fluff up my hair, make it bigger. Okay, I'm going to maybe. Get lower. Too much cleavage. I see dust. It's gonna fly in my face. Dust. I'm so hungry. I just want food. And 